All right, number six, it's time to play with the whole command. So go new, standard IPT, create, go home, click on the plus sign next to origin. And for this one, I'm gonna draw on the X, Y, or front plane. Click start 2D sketch. And I've got this lovely rectangle for this thing called an end clamp because calling it a square with a hole in it just would be too easy. And it is 3.75 across. Zoom out. And it is 3 inches tall. I'm going to ex finish the sketch and extrude it 1 inch. Now I'm going to play with hole. So the first hole I'm going to draw is the big one in the center. Click on hole and this is what your hole menu should look like. This drop down box has some options. You want to make sure it's on linear for what we're going to do. I'm going to click the red arrow next to face and I'm going to pick the face that I want the hole to be on which is this one. And now I'm going to put in the diameter of that hole. On my drawing it says 1.87 drill. Remember drill means diameter. So I type in 1.87. Over here where it says termination, change it to through all. You don't have a distance and it goes through the whole thing. So that's why we're using through all. I'm going to click the red arrow next to reference. And now i got to tell it where to put the center of the circle. So from this line it's going to go over 1.88. Highlight 1.88 and then I'm going to pick the second red arrow and I'm going to tell it how high up it needs to go. So this way it needs to go 1.5. Tell it apply and there's your hole right smack dab in the center of that thing. To do the smaller holes up top I'm going to click hole. I'm going to pick the face which is up here. For the diameter, I'm going to use 0.281. Reference from this side, it's 0.5. Okay. And from this side, click the other reference, press enter. Oops. If you ever cancel out of the hole command like I just did, just right click on the hole and do edit feature. Right click in the browser. Reference to, we need this guy and it is 0.375. Tell it OK. And the reason I have it go through all is because it says on the drawing drill through which means it goes through the whole thing. Last hole, click the face. Diameter is the same. Reference 1 from here to there is 0.375. Click the red reference to arrow. This way it's 0.5. Enter and there is my part. I'm going to save this. I'm going to make it make it pretty first. Let's pick a color. Let's make it gold. There we go. Save as gold thing. Right? And now we're going to go to PLTWA and this works pretty much the same but you guys have to put center lines on which is something new. So let me show you that. Create project name practice. Put in your name, put in the date. File name gold thing of awesome. Okay and tell it OK. Click on base and this thing is going to be huge but we're going to take care of that. So just put in your views, right click create, double click, click on the front view and change the scale to 0.75. Also while you're in this dialog, dialog box make sure that this button is clicked not the center one. The center one will take out your hidden lines and you don't want that. You should see hidden lines on your drawing just like you do on mine. Double click on this guy, change him to 0.75 and we'll make him colorful 
and you don't want the hidden line showing on the isometric. All right, position them where they don't look too awful. And now to put center lines on, we're going to go to annotate. Over here are your center line friends. The one with the plus sign works on the circles, and center line bisector is the one that works where you have two hidden lines. So click on the plus sign, click on the circle, click on that circle, click on that circle, and then click center line bisector. Pick this hidden line and that hidden line. You've got to pick them in pairs. And it will put a center line directly in the middle of all of your holes. And now that's done, you guys can print that to the 5430.